Now this recipe combines two of my all-time favorite things, beautifully slowly cooked beef ragu and rigatoni. So it's a pasta dish with that beautiful, juicy, yummy beef ragu. It's really, really simple. What you need is one of these big cast iron pans. We're gonna end up with all of our ingredients in here, throw it in the oven, forget about it for two and a half hours, and then come back and serve dinner. This is what we have to do. Okay, so I've been down to Coles and got myself some beautiful chuck steak. And I wanna show you how to use it because it's got so much flavor, but it can be a little bit chewy. If you cook it like this, it's gonna be fantastic. Take this chuck steak and just dice it up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it in big chunks. I'm gonna go through and cut through it both directions. And cut through it in this direction as well. It's so much flavor in chuck steak, and it's so delicious if you cook it right. Get yourself some flour. Make sure you season that flour. So a little bit of salt and a little bit of cracked pepper. And then just pick up your beef and just pop it in. And we're going to just dust it really lightly in the flour. Good. That's all you need. Give it a shake off. All right, so you want a nice hot pan, a little bit of olive oil, nice hot pan. And then you just pick up that beef and pop it in. Toss it around. And you see in just a minute, you're gonna have beautiful color on this. Flip our board over and get our veggies ready. So just go ahead and sort of cut those into little pieces. If you wanted to, you could put parsnips and stuff like that. But in this recipe, I want to keep it pretty simple because it's all about the richness that the beef's going to give the pasta. Pop that around. You see you get that beautiful brown caramelization on the steak. All right, so we've got our celery, a little bit of garlic. I love it. It's just, it goes over every type of cuisine, whether it's Asian or Italian or French or Greek, it's in just about everything. And I love garlic, it's full of vitamin C, it's really, really good for you. So, plenty of fresh garlic. Now, quite often when you see me braising beef like this, I go for the red wine. Today, no alcohol. I'm gonna use a couple of different things. I've got some beef stock, I've got some balsamic vinegar, which I know sounds really different, and it is. It brings a nice sweetness with a, a sort of acidity. Some tin tomatoes, which of course are out of season right now, so the tin tomatoes are the way to go. And just a little bit of water. So once you start seeing you've got the colour on the beef, I'm going to add some other flavours. So just a sprig of thyme, which is just a little more delicate than rosemary, but I love the flavour of thyme, so toss that in with some onion. Plenty of garlic, look at that. <laughs> And give that a stir. Now here's the part that you're going to love about this dish, right? You put in your celery, you add your carrots, you add your tomatoes, two tins, so it's about 800 grams of uh, tin tomatoes. Take your beef stock, a little bit of water, half a cup, balsamic vinegar, and then you give it a good old stir. Make sure that it's all combined. Give the bottom a scrape because you don't want it to be stuck down there and burning. Is once it starts bubbling, you turn it off, you pop the lid on, you put it into the oven for two and a half hours at about 170 degrees. The beautiful thing about this dish is now you're free for a couple of hours. In two and a half hours, we'll come and pull it out. We're gonna cook some of this rigatoni in boiling salted water, toss it through, and it's gonna taste unbelievable. Okay, it's dinner time and I am starving. So what I'm gonna do is get the rigatoni, pop it into the boiling salted water. Just a little bit of salt. And then let's have a look at the ragu. Okay. It's always a little nerve wracking when you pull something out of the oven after a couple of hours and you're like, I wonder what it looks like inside. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> So the whole idea with this dish is that it cooks right down into this beautiful, rich sauce. And you can see the meat here. Let's have a look. It should be so soft that you can literally break it up with a spoon. Look at that. You can just break through it. Oh, 
delicious. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, yum. The little bit of sweetness from the balsamic and the tomatoes, it's really divine. Right, so what I like to do, once the pasta's cooked, is just dump the whole thing in there and then just toss it all together and you're ready to serve. The pasta should be cooked. Let's just check that it's al dente. It's nice and hot, that's for sure. Mm, perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead, lift that pasta up. A little bit of the pasta water's just fine. It's not gonna hurt it. And then just combine the two together. And then you can just start tossing this through the sauce. And look at that. Now when I'm cooking for my family, I leave it in this pot, I take the whole thing out to the dining room table and I let everybody help themselves. I cover it with grated parmesan because I just love the flavor. But how you serve it is totally up to you. You can also be a little more fancy and get yourself a bowl just like this. And then just dish this up. Talk about a hearty winner dish, hey? Fantastic. Just like that. And then get your parmesan and just grate it over the top. Have a look at that. It's so simple and so easy to make, but I tell you what, people absolutely love this recipe. Bon appetito.